To quote James Moran, uh, Doctor Who is firing in all cylinders. I'm really, really pissed off at people on Twitter. Like, oh, it's not what it used to be. I'm giving up. I hate Capaldi. I hate Moffat. Oh, the ratings are down. And I'm starting to really like Peter Capaldi's character of the Doctor. He's starting to become very zany, which I love. Um, again, these two partners go either way because previously, you know, the first part has been great, the second part has been rubbish. First part has been rubbish, the second part has been great. Uh, this one is pretty average, and it really felt as though I've seen it all before. Did you enjoy the episode of West the historical inaccuracy? Oh my god, Stephanie! <laughs> and I like this kind of like, almost not childish is not the word, but like, you know, kind of over grand kind of things. I like them, like the tank thing in the first episode. All my mates were like, that's so stupid, and I'm like, no, you don't understand. That was epic beyond all compare. So a lot of my friends have been unimpressed, but I am literally loving this season anyway, so yeah, I thought it was an amazing episode. Yay! Um, I love the whole fact that we finally knew who Space he'd seen before. I liked we got a little bit of a Donna Doctor flashback, I thought that was really nice. But, um, who knows about the second part? And we've seen a wee brief intro of that, um, and it's like a dick tuck in the which, oh here we go again, so uh, pretty average, I wasn't too impressed. Um, it's great, uh, uh, Mays Williams was fun, I can't wait to see what happened to her in the centuries that have gone by, it's just the hybrids that Davros mentioned, that's cool, Peter Capaldi just rocks it and I think I think I have my Sonics and just, it just turned me <laughs> We're going with the Vikings. It was just great and the whole I am Odin, gods don't show up and then Odin appears. It's amazing, it's really good. Well, <laughs> it was really bizarre. We had a few things right and a hell of a lot of things wrong. The buildings were right, the swords were right. Some of the things around the necks were right, such as the Star's Hammer, and a lot was wrong. Apart from that, it was a kind of strange episode. Clever writing, great direction, lovely shots. Clara still has no point in the show, I'm afraid. She's just there, and she's just like Dr. Light. She's just like the Doctor, and that's not what the companion should be, but they clearly have plans for her, and I'm very sad when she goes. Uh, she's not going to die. To interview me again in December the 6th. Um, but yeah, loved it, absolutely great. I've blabbed on, I do apologise, David. You can add some cloister bells in for me if you want. I'll pretend we're crashing. Uh, cloister bells! Um.